to Arise Exchange, two key data reports out today for housing. According to the Federal Housing Finance Agency, home prices increased 0.6% in February on a seasonally adjusted basis. And existing home sales fell slightly by 0.2% in March. But even with a week showing, the market is a bit firmer than expected. Well, Jeff Tenenbaum from Halstead Property joins us for a look at the latest. Welcome to Arise Exchange. Thank you, Julian. This housing market, I think a lot of people are very excited about this. I know even my own, own neighborhood on Long Island, you, you see homes going up for sale. Of course, it's a spring, spring ahead, and people are selling their homes. Explain what's going on. Well, we had a tremendous year mm -hmm. in New York, and uh, there were times when I had 68 separate buyers after one open house, nine offers and six above ask. Wow. Unbelievable. Mm. That was several months ago. I think the market is cooling. Okay. I see some pricing going down. It's supposed to everything going up. Mm -hmm. I don't see as much bidding war as we used to have, if you will. Why, I, why is this? Well, we have um, a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. We have these, we have low inventory which is great for the seller. Right. It's a, it, it bolsters the prices that are higher, but then it also shuts out a substantial portion of the buyer market because they throw their hands up. I can't compete. Mm. I can't afford to pay these prices. So we've got a no moss amongst p potential buyers. No. Exactly. no moss, no moss. Exactly. Okay. So, what, so eventually, I mean, in New York, in Manhattan, we are insulated. We have people with money who are buying substantial priced uh, apartments, co-op, condo, townhouses, whatever. If we look at the rest of the country, that's not the case. And that is the key that I'm concerned about. And, and, and Jeff, more so, uh, I'm concerned about the banks, what they're going to do. Right now, interest rates are still relatively low. Relatively low. And how long can we expect this to take to do? I've place. spoken with several mortgage uh, brokers who I have confidence in. And through the summer, through fall, we should pretty much see the interest rates hover around where they are now. And mm -hmm. as most of this country is risk adverse and mm -hmm. prefers the 30-year fix, they plan on living there forever, having their children there, their grandchildren, they want to know every month what they're paying. So mm -hmm. the 30-year fix is the dominant mortgage product. Mm -hmm. We should probably see that staying low force, hopefully, and maybe as we approach the latter part of the year. I'm hearing it might go to the mid fours. Interesting. But and that's still relatively low. It's still relatively but, low. But my concern also, and I think what might be a bargaining chip for all this, I guess, or leverage, are new housing starts. Where do they stand right now? Well, there was, there was an issue with new housing starts because as much as one might not think this would be, be entering into the mix, right. the labor for the new housing starts was more of an issue recently with all the border controls mm -hmm. because of cheap labor, in all fairness, coming into the country, which helps to create um, an, a less expensive product, if mm -hmm. you will, mm -hmm. and help investors to get their projects up and running. Right. So again, my specialty being Manhattan, we have a substantial number of holes in the ground. Mm. I've just sold two pieces of land to investors who want to build condo retail first floor, condo above. I'm upset because I didn't get my cut, Jeff. You will. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't closed you on that okay. one. <laughs> but uh, ultimately, in other parts of the country, um, the starts are slower, uh -huh. these holes, if you will, as I call them, right. because um, where investors go, it usually is, is, is where there's cheaper product, right. and with prices being higher, they're less willing to part with their money right. because everything's going to spiral and be higher for them. Money is always a factor here. Of course, we've run out of time, right. and I'll tell you what I'm going to do for cheaper housing stars. I'm going to call in Paul Bunyan, chop down a few trees, and make <laughs> my own log cabins. We'll do it together. Jeff Townabout, thank you Pleasure so much, sir. Thank you so much. Fantastic.